Hello FIFA faithful, Bearhams here and welcome to episode 8 of my Hertha Berlin career mode. Before we get into it, let's see how we did off camera. And instead of going through highlights and going through live sims, we're just going to go through the scores straight away as we did draw against Cologne by a score of 1-1. to Then things got better as we did beat Hoffenheim by a score of 1-0. to The final game off camera once again was a 1-1 draw. This time it was against Eintracht Frankfurt. With the 5 points we got in 3 games, we haven't moved much, though sitting in fifth place is fine by me so we do have 29 points seven more than the last team out of europe in frankfurt so i have to say so far about a third of the way into the season doing all right for today's episode we will start the month of december with a crucial matchup in the deutsche pokal round of 16 against borussia dortmund and then we have a weekend tilt against Wolfsburg. So it's going to be interesting. You're going to see a lot of different players playing in this episode. In this cup match, I have a slightly rotated side. As you can see, the only real starters are Luka Bacchio, Dilrosun, and Tarun Riga. The rest are backups, and we'll see how this goes. They did well in the last cup match. Let's see how they do against a big team like Dortmund. So here we are at a snowy Signal Aduna Park. And I apologize for the game ball. I forgot to switch it to default. As uh, if you might have seen on my channel, I also do a Minnesota United career mode, and we just played out the COVID Cup. I had to switch out the ball because the default wasn't the actual MLS ball. So I do digress. The one player I am looking forward to in this match is Havel Sakura. Again, he did score that penalty kick goal in the last Deutsche Pokal Cup game. Emery Chan, former Liverpool man, will... Find Sancho. Yes, they do still have Jane Sancho. I mean, he is technically still with Dortmund. So there's a shot and already that's a goal. Near post. Jarstein, not going to get it. The good news is if this is a complete capitulation, we've already made the board's goal of getting to the round of 16, so they won't be too frisky about it. But still, it would be nice to pull out with a cup set of sorts. I feel like without a sub, a crucial sub, in the uh, next 20 minutes or so, we will be doomed, as already he's in, but there is a good save by Jarstein. But I think what we'll do is we'll take out Klutner and we'll bring on Piontek. We'll play Piontek. <laughs> we'll try Piontek as a cam. We'll see how he does there. So now there is a cross in the box. Finds Toprak and it goes to Gomez. Gomez de Lacazette, former Arsenal man. Looking to find some real estate. He'll find it. Near post once again has been Jarstein's weakness. So we'll be the Frenchman getting the second goal for Dortmund. Now we do have a little less than five minutes into this opening half. The Belgian Witzel will find a Lacazette out to Hazard. Baby Hazard. We'll switch the plate to Chan. Chan to Tadic. There's another chance for shot, but a good play by Jarstein, who's already learned from his past mistakes with that near post shot. Won't have enough time, as that will be the end of the opening half here at Signal Aduna Park. Two early goals in the first half an hour for Dortmund. Give them that two-goal advantage. Probably not the best idea to bring out our cup squad against a team as ferocious as Borussia Dortmund, but... Still got another half to make the most of it. We only made one switch for the second half, and as I alluded to earlier, Anthony Robinson has made the move to left wing for Maximilian Mittelstadt. I think it will work out for the best as Darida. Sprinkle it out wide to Sakura. Sakura sees Robinson already. Look at that pace. Gets a cross in. There we go. Straight away an early goal for Luca Bacchio. Is that offside? Okay, good. For a second, it just had that weird animation where I thought it was offside. But anyway, Luca Bacchio gets us on the board. All thanks to Anthony Robinson. Gressel to Luca Bacchio. Good passing through. Maybe a chance here. Shellbred, the Norwegian, takes it, but it's a good save by Berkey. A chance for a rebound. Does not fall the Norwegian. We'll get that to Luca Bacchio. Does have the run from Shellbred. Oh, good pass. Luca Bacchio's open again. A chance for a second goal here. Luca Bacchio. Oh, he hits the post. Chance for a cross here, but it's going to fall straight to Berkey. Now, I do have an opportunity to make another substitution, but I'm not going to do it because the rest of them are defensive-minded, and I need more offensive minds up top. It's Gressel. We'll find Dilro soon. Another speedy fella. It's going to get a cross in. Luca Bacchio's there. Luca Bacchio with the brace. 
And Luca Bacchio with the equalizer with just 20 minutes left in this one. The comeback might actually happen here. Now Dortmund have one last chance here as Julian Brandt is going to find Sancho and they're going to give him the opportunity here. Sancho going against Sakura. And since he passes back, we are heading into extra time. So great perseverance by the boys in the second half. And I have to say it was all because of Anthony Robinson. If he didn't show up in the first five minutes, get that assist. I don't know where we would be. For sure, we would not be in this predicament. Into extra time we go. I haven't made any changes to the lineup. Might have to soon as Shellbread. His old legs slip. They're going straight away. Josh King with the shot. Oh, my. That quick. That quick. Josh King, former Bournemouth striker. Caught Yarstein napping. Caught his fellow countryman napping. Maybe a through ball here for Dilro soon, but it will be found. And that will be the end of the first 15 minutes. Not what we wanted. Straight away, a goal given up. We just got to fight even harder now. I think our boys are just getting tired. Chance for a cross and will be punched up by Yarstein. We'll find the feet of Piantek as Piantek slides that through to Shellbread. Shellbread. Gets a through ball, and Robinson's through. Anthony Robinson straight away with this pace, takes the shot and scores the equalizer. The American, Anthony Robinson, who just six months ago was sitting in the championship side of Wigan Athletic, and now he's playing at the big cathedral of Signal Iduna Park, and he has equalized it for Hertha Berlin. A great through ball by Shellbred to find the youngster. Yeah, he's a real spark plug, man. A chance is there. Flips it through, looking for Luca Bacchio, but it was just a couple steps ahead of him. As Berkey's going to hold on to it, and that will do it for this extra time period. Great effort by Anthony Robinson to slip away from the defense, find that equalizer. Now we go to the hardest part, penalty kicks. This will be our lineup for penalty kicks. It goes Piantek, Darida, Luca Bacchio, Gressel, Dilrosun, Young, Shellbred, Sakura, Robinson, Tarunariga, and Yarstein. So it will be the home team going first. Marco Royce misses. He has 91 penalty, and he missed. So now Piontek can really put us in the driver's seat here if he can make this, and he won't. It's saved. Now it's Tadic. Tadic is going to miss. Actually, he did, didn't miss, excuse me. Darida, good play, able to make it. Going tit for tat so far. Josh King, he's going to guess the right. Del Rosu now going for that left. It's going to get saved. Witzel. He misses two. We just need to get this one back as Gressel going for the right. Makes it. Back to two. Sancho. Oh, Sancho misses. This opens the door for Del Rosu to get it past Berkey and put us in to the quarterfinals. All that matters is if he can make it. And he does. We have done the impossible. We have upset Borussia Dortmund going down 2-0 in the first half hour. But it was all about Anthony Robinson. We put him in, gets an assist in the first couple minutes, inspires the others. Dilro soon got an assist, got that to Luca Bacchio, who had two goals on the evening. And then it was Robinson, who got the equalizer late in the extra time. So now we are off to the quarterfinals and maybe a chance for a solid cup run. With that heroic victory against Borussia Dortmund, we will be taking on RB Leipzig in the quarterfinals of the Deutsche Pokal. For the second and final game of today's episode, we have made one change to the lineup, and that is Anthony Robinson. Usually we would play Jordan Tarunariga there, but because Robinson had such an inspired performance against Dortmund, Let's give him the start and let's see what he can do in league play. Uh, yes, yeah, since we are in December, it is going to snow for every single game until probably April or May. Yes, that's how this game goes sometimes. Klaus with the cross. There's a header, but it's an easy save by Dubrovka, who has secured that first spot. 
It's now maybe a chance here to open things up. Dilro soon. Thought he had a run from Piontek. Piontek with a heavy touch. So he was able to find Luka Bakio. Luka Bakio sees a wide open Gressel. And this might open things up for Berlin. It's Gressel. Flips a pass through. It's gonna find Grujic. Good start so far. Actually, excuse me, that is Mario Goetze. I don't know why I thought it was Grujic, but it will be the former Borussia Dortmund Bayern Munich man. Able to collect the Gressel cross. Saska Seabar will lose it. Now maybe a chance here for the team in green. It's Bercalo. Looking to find some options, but there is Rakik. Rakik and Boateng, a good rapport between those two. So maybe we can open things up once again as Gressel does see Luca Bacchio. Luca Bacchio did get an assist on that play. Actually, no, he didn't. Excuse me. There's another cross. Chance for Piontek, and it's 2-0. Oh, we are cruising at the moment here at home as Wolfsburg do not have a single answer for us at the moment. But, again, got to remember, Dortmund in the last game scored two goals straight away. Will they crawl back? Maneuvering his way around. Boateng wins it, but is going to fall to Paulo Otavio to Bercalo. Bercalo getting hassled by Luca Bacchio, who will win it, but that will be the end of the first half. A good early start. So we got goals from Gutza and Piontek. It's now Boateng. Tries to find Aska Seabar, but now it is intercepted by Schlager. Schlager will slip that through to Karamoko, and Karamoko is going to get that past Dubrovka. Now they've half the deficit. We are into extra time here. Just a couple ticks left. Wolfsburg with one last chance. They can get something. There might be one final cross here. Is there something in the box and they're going to score? It is Nemanja Matic who made the move from Manchester United. Gets the equalizer. And that will most likely do it. Not the way we wanted it to end. But at least it was entertaining. Like the game before. We had two early goals, but then it was like the last game, but inverse. A couple interesting events to report back on. One is we've gotten an offer from the United States to become the manager. You know what? Screw it. I'll consider it. There we go. We are the manager of the Stars and Stripes. And then we have also sold Lucas Tussar for 13.5 million euros to Lazio. And that is simply because he was not getting enough playing time. He is a deserved starter in a top five league, not a top team in a top five league, but just a starter nonetheless. Before we go, we will peruse around the Bundesliga table and we are in sixth. We have dropped a spot since we didn't really win a lot in the Bundesliga, though we did beat Borussia Dortmund in a nail biter. As look at that, 16 games, only eight given up in terms of goals, 46 scored, not a single loss or draw yet. So it looks like they will probably be the title winners. As again, we'll take a look at us. Sixth place, we are four points ahead of Frankfurt, who have caught up since they were below us by seven. And again, I'm not too worried since we are halfway through the season. It was just a little bit of a snafu there. We did have a lot of fixture congestion, which is why a lot of the players just weren't up to snuff for those games. And I think we will be fine moving forward. So, yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as you did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you for Episode 9. This has been Bearhams, And as always, toodaloo.